Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blend 3D Car Creation Channel. This is the next in the 2008 Corvette C6 Blender 2.92 tutorial series. And um, as you can see in front of me, I have the blueprints which I've, um, I've found. Um, these are, in context of things, these are pretty good. Um, okay, there's a missing line there, but remember we're mirroring this anyway. Um, there's good definition, it shows the scoops, etc. The only issue is that there isn't a top image. Um, so what I intend to do is to use another image and sort of piece that in with this um, another top image. So I will only be using that really for reference and not um, too much modeling. Just make sure it matches up with these views. Um, now I've, I use GIMP, G-I-M-P, um, as above to um, to cut up the images so I can import them into Blender. Um, so this is what I'll be showing you in this video. Um, so if you haven't got GIMP, just download it, it's free. Um, make sure this rectangle, rectangle box up here is, is selected. And as you can see, the cursor moves down. What you do is left click um, somewhere near the end up here and then you hold the left mouse button down and you bring it across. Um, I'm not fussed if it's uh, too accurate at this stage. Um, looks like I'm just cutting out the top there so I'll rejig that. Um, let's do it again. So yeah it was a little bit right. So let's do it again. So I'm going to start literally from on the line up here to make sure I get it all. Um, come across and let go of the left mouse button. So now we've got to go to this box up here image um, and you go scroll down to crop to selection. So we crop to selection and that gives us the, um, the side view. So now when we go to save it we don't save we export. So if you click if you go down here on to export as um, and we want it to be a PNG file. So scroll to where your um, scroll to where you want to save it. In this instance mine is uh, working on wherever that is working on and these are all the projects that I'm working on into here and then ju I'm just going to drop it into there. But before I do that, I'm going to tell, I'm going to label this as side, and then I'm going to backspace the letters G, I, F, and put in P, N, G. So P, save it as a ping file. So then go to export. So that exports it, and then you have to press export again for some reason. So export image as PNG and press export. Okay, so that's that one done. Um, so and so and do that. This card, I'll just reload it again. There must be another way of doing this, but. Uh, um, I'll just do what I'm used to. So we choose the rectangular select and we go all the way over here far over as we can and then just right, hold the left mouse key down and just make sure we capture the, the whole of the image. Go to image crop to selection. Didn't work did it? Crop to selection um, and then export. So export as um, 
documents. So that's going in the right area. Um, so that is front. So label it up as front and go to PNG. That's good. Export it. Export again. Let's see if I can just undo crop image. Ah, here we go. So just go and crop, just go to undo the last selection. Then lastly, we go down to here and range across to get the rear. Go to image, crop to selection, file, export as. Um, type in back or rear or whatever you want to do and it's saved as a PNG so export and export again so that's that now I want to get the top image from another file which is um, It's that one. It's that Chevrolet, that, that one there. So I open that. And as you can see, the, the blueprints are fine, but they're not as good as um, the previous ones I was showing you. Plus that wasn't a ZR1. It hasn't got the um, scoops on the side. So make sure that the rectangle selected. Go to here range across image crop to selection um, we can rotate it in blender so I'm not too worried about getting it in the right orientation then go to export um, type in here top 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 and make sure it's in going in the right um, uh, folder, which it is. Press export and then export again. And your file should be in there. Now, um, in the next episode, I will show you how to bring the, the, um, folders into Blender but I just want to set the environment for the new for the new um, file so open up Blender when it finally uh, loads up because oh, I opened it too many times I use this all the time <laughs> right I clicked on it too many times right let's just have what happened okay so when that finally opens here we go. Ah. It's done a madness. All right. Let's click on it once. That should load up pretty quick now. Hopefully. So all I want to show you is um, what we need for this course. Um, the add-ons in particular. In particular. I mean, you can set the preferences how you want it so we are we're in blender 2.92 um, go to file um, sorry go to edit and go to preferences um, and if you look around I mean I've got certain themes that are already just go through there and set the themes to as you want the workspace to look um, which is entirely up to you but for this tutorial 
I'd recommend um, using some add-ons um, and the add-ons that um, I particularly use is Node Wrangler so click that one Node Wrangler um, I also use um, Loop tools, so type in loop. Loop tools, I've already got them loaded up, but just tick that box for load for loop tools. And why do I keep going out of it? And um, the other one is Blender Kit. So type in Blender Kit. There we go. Blender Kit Online Asset Library, which we get all the material, well I get all the materials from so make sure that that is loaded and when Blender Kit is enabled it, it features here um, this this little eye here if you click this um, you can then go in and type in materials And it will load it'll search for the blender kit yeah so if you type in for instance metal no paint is a good one yeah, so you can do all your you can choose all your bits and pieces from here um, I think it's that Right, yeah. So if we go into, the, click on that one and type in paint. You can also get assets from here, but I just use it for textures. So there's the paint, so you can choose anything you want. Then just click on this right arrow um, to get whatever paint material you want. Um, just be creative. I mean, if you want fabric, type fabric in. If you want rubber type rubber in if you want plastic type plastic in um, and it comes up with a multitude of things so for example if I said plastic see what it comes up with so there's all the different plastics so you've got roof plastic you've got ordinary plastic um, whatever okay and then when you um, when you're modeling just click on the little eye here and that disables it and then you just pick it up and load it into your project and assign it through through this button here okay so that's um just a short video to to set up blender um there's something else that i assigned but i could, just can't remember at this stage it's mainly loop tools oh yeah bolt factory so if you go in if you go in here and type in bolt Um, bolt factory click that and that gives you um, nuts bolts screws etc to use in your projects okay thank you for watching um, I'll do another episode of of, of this Corvette C6 soon um, and load in the um, do the scaling make sure we've got the right size for the car um, so what I'll do is is add a cube and I'll size it to the dimension of the car. I'll, I will also then um, add another plane, which is the um, which is the wheel span. So we'll have the overall length of the car, the height of the car, the width of the car, and the wheel span. Um, and we can set those dimensions to make sure that the that we can scale the bl blueprints to the the right size of the car. And I'll show you how to do that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye.